If you were to say to me, Chris, who is the absolute last person in the world who anyone should trust to run a weather, run a weather channel? I would be hard pressed to think someone worse than Rupert Murdoch, the owner of Fox News. But that is exactly what Murdoch plans to do with the Fox Weather Channel, a 24-hour streaming channel later this year. Undoubtedly, Rupert Murdoch will try to do for the world's climate what he's done for American democracy. Deny it, undermine it, lead it to the brink of destruction. It's not like it would be something new for them. If you want to make electric cars the choice for Americans, you don't try to hit them with guilt and virtue signaling and right. tying it to a climate crisis that does not exist. This unholy alliance is between the unions, which are their traditional base, and the radical environmentalists who are demanding that we change every aspect of our lives and undercut our economy so that we can fight the weather. Acting like the world is going to blow up in 12 years because we're emitting natural or cows are farting somewhere is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You know what greenhouse gas emissions are? You ever drive by the road and you see a greenhouse in the winter and flowers are growing and tomatoes are growing? It's called the atmosphere. Commit to eliminating carbon pollution. Carbon dioxide is not pollution. We don't get oxygen but for giving carbon dioxide to plants. Rupert Murdoch and his media conglomerate has been crucially important to climate denial across the entire English-speaking world on three continents. After Australia was devastated by wildfires that burned 46 million acres in 2019-2020, that country's former prime minister called Murdoch out for his part in the disaster. The reality is News Corp and Murdoch have done enormous damage to Western democracy and in particular to the United States and Australia and in particular on the subject of global warming. The campaign on climate denial is just staggering and has done enormous damage to the world, to the, you know, to the global need to address uh, uh, global warming. In fact, Murdoch's News Corp, which is among the largest media companies in Australia, was found to be part of another wave of misinformation. An independent study there found online bots and trolls exaggerating the role of arson in the fires at the same time that an article in his newspaper, The Australian, making similar assertions, became the most popular offering on the newspaper's website. It's really not a stretch to say Rupert Murdoch's media empire, right up there with the world's fossil fuel companies, stopped us from taking action on climate change sooner, continues to block us, and we're now dealing with the fallout. The month of June has records, had record-setting heat. It was the hottest on record in Boston. Salt Lake City, Utah had its hottest day ever. Palm Springs, California tied its record for hottest day ever at 123 degrees. That does not even include the crazy temperatures we saw in the Pacific Northwest that reached well over 100 degrees. And the hottest day ever in the history of Canada in a town that was burned to a crisp, literally to the ground, just a day after or so it set the record. But it was not just North America. No, no, no. Meteorologist Scott Duncan shared this heat map of Scandinavia, showing a Norwegian town far above the Arctic Circle measuring over 34 degrees Celsius, or more than 93 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest temperature ever recorded at that latitude. So one can only imagine how Weather Channel practicing climate change denial would approach these stories. How would they explain the insane heat in Portland and Seattle? What shades of blue would they use to describe the temperature in Scandinavia right now? Or they attempt to create a new reality where the world is not really getting hotter? You know, there is, of course, something comforter, comforting about that specific delusion, a world that's not getting hotter. But that's not the world we live in. The world we live in is getting hotter. The world we live in is being ravaged by that heat. That heat will cause incalculable human misery, and that misery is thanks in large part to Rupert Murdoch and his life's work. Murdoch is 90 now, so he will not be here to see all of what he put into motion. But I truly hope that none of us ever forget what he has done.